as much as there are many battles, there are also so many advantages of being a man. Praise the Lord. Wewe isipokuwa ile siku unasikia unataka kupumzika. There is no any other thing that can cause you not leave the house. Praise Jesus. Our ladies fight different battles. Praise Jesus. Now, just assume because I know if you are married here, uh, possibly you didn't marry your first girlfriend. How do you deal with five men coming to you? All of them are saying they have heard from God that you are the right partner. How do you handle that? Hello? You know, many times men, we are on the offensive. Women are in the, on the defensive. They have to deal with it so much to be where they are. Praise Jesus. Wewe ukitebea usiku kama mwanaume, hakunanga uoga unakuanga na yuspokuwa mtu anaeza kakugonga. What about a woman? They have many fears. Praise Jesus. They can't just walk at night. The way you think they have, they have some goods to protect. Praise Jesus. Something if gone, it will alter the rest of their lives. For you, utakogagogwa, ukuja na mabade di bade jesdri, bidi tatu, arafu, iwi kuingine unaenderea na maisha. So, sometimes I take time to thank God that I'm a man. And we need to get to a place where we begin to appreciate that God knew that we can deal with battles that come for us as men. Praise Jesus. I'll be very brief because I want us to hear from uh, our guest speaker. And already, Apostle Ken have already laid a very good foundation. As you are speaking here, sir, I, I was saying that that, that that battle, that battle of, uh, you know, every man, every man is fighting that battle right now. Every man. Na hii vita haikuangi after before mutu waowe. After umeowa divi unanzaga kufuguka macho. Na some of these people who juangi walikuwaga wapi before uwoe. Walitokea wapi. Walikuwa wapi. Wakati tu umeowa umejikomit. Diyo kimutu kinejitokereze. Zase unashidua. Hello? And sometimes it can be very actually... You, if you are not careful, you can think that your, 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 your wife is a saboteur. Unaona edi ya nakuzuia kuenderea kwa maisha. Hello? Because some other people come who look very understanding. They know your vision. Actually, before you, before you had a statement, they have already completed it for you. Hello? And that is why every man in this place uh, must be aware of that battle. The battle of the seduction. Na mimi nasemaga, shida si kuona muschana ama mama. Anytime you see a woman coming, look at her all the way that you want to look at her. That is appreciating God's creation. There is no problem with that. The only problem comes when you ame kupita umeanza kukonfirm. So, the problem is in confirmation. Abia mwanaume mwenzako mabia wachaka kukonfirm. Mwabia shida ni kukonfirm. Because, can you imagine, the, you know, you never have some evil thoughts when you look at a lady coming. But when you turn, and there's, we, we know there are, there are many things that comes with the turning. You remember a uh, lot's wife. She became a pillar of? Going back, looking back is very dangerous. So, let us be saved from that. Inaitwa mwehogoro. Abia mwenzako mwehogoro. Is a very dangerous thing, and at many times you'll be tempted after you maybe someone have dressed. And by the way, what are you looking at the back? Those are exit points. <laughs> There's nothing that can be admired from the guy. Those are ex exit points. Exhaust. First of all, God, you nagari exhaust your name. Praise the Lord. So what I'm, uh, I want to share briefly on uh, three things that every man needs. Three things that every man needs. And I thank God for this opportunity. There's a clip that I did and uh, it has become a help to many men. And I say it is good that I mentioned because I may not have a lot of time to, so, to, to say the many things I had planned to do uh, because of our time. But allow me to say and just possibly to literally what Apostle Ken has shared. I want to say that every man needs God. 
no matter how much you feel down, no matter how much you feel good, you need God. Every man needs God. And let me tell you, many times we hide from God. And it's only the sin that makes men hide from God. When you know you are, in that, in, you are not in the best place, when you know you are not where you are supposed to be, that is when you hide from God. Ask Adam from the Garden of Eden. One of the things that you want to know that God and Adam were friends. Actually, he used to visit him at the cool of the day. Faithfully, religiously. But at some point, Adam did something. Hey, how are you, sir? Good to see you. It is very important, Sasa, who you are, met, uh, you know he's my son. Now, this is what I was saying. Whenever God visited Adam, they had a fellowship. But a time came that Adam had God and he ran away. And I want to show you how you can main, maintain a good relationship with God. Some of the things, some of the things that are putting you under pressure, like Apostle said, is money. Let me tell you. Did you know that God is concerned about your welfare? That's true. Do you know that God is not an irresponsible father seated somewhere looking at his children wakikura shida na wachekerea? God is a father. And I want you to know as a man that you have a father in God. Just as your children, if you are married and have children, have a father in you. And they don't go asking God to give them. They come to you because they know you as their father. You have a father in God. You can tell God, you can tell your father about your stress. You can tell your father about the, 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 the battles you are fighting. He is concerned. He wants you to involve him. That is Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. The Bible says that trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not in your own understanding. It says in all your ways, not some of your ways. Because when we are making good deals, we take God out of the picture. Tunachukwaga mungu after deal in Megoga Mwamba. Hello? But many times when the deal is good, sometimes we take God out of the picture. God wants to be involved in everything. Those decisions that you are making on a daily basis, did you know that you are supposed even to involve God on how many children you should have? The Bible says that God put you together with your wife for you to raise a godly offspring for him. So it's not your children, it's God's children. So when there's no school fees, go to your father. Tell him school fees. For your children. You know, let me tell you, we need to bring God closer. Actually, He is not as far as we think. He's always closer. He's not, he's not, he's not unsensitive. He feels us. He says that He understands our weaknesses. Hallelujah. Your father understands that you can fail into temptation. Your father knows that you can lose money in business. Your father knows. That you can face rejection when you are asking that lady for marriage. He knows you can be rejected. He knows you can be rejected. And he has set a system for you on how to deal with those losses. When you read Luke chapter 15, it's called the parable of the lost. You hear the lost coin. The woman went looking for the coin. The lost sheep. The man went looking for them. He left the 99, went looking for. And there's also... The loss of, of a son. It's called the lost son. So, in essence, when you look at it from the face value, that means that you can lose money. In life as a man, you can lose money. Yes, you can lose money. You will lose money at some point. Praise the Lord. And you need to know how to deal with it. When that, let me tell you, when that, when, when, when the lady, she had to lit a lamp. Do you know what that means prophetically? That you need out. Where you lost money, get into deals with more understanding. She, she lit a lamp to go looking for money. Don't keep investing in areas that you are not sure about. If you don't understand it, don't invest in it. You can write that down. You're on the point. You tired kutisha watu na ukienda after this meeting. If you don't understand it, don't invest in it. It's called the, the, the parable of the lost coin. You can lose money. You can lose money. It's, there is a possibility of you losing money. The lost ship, you can lose property. Hello? It's a possibility as long as you are alive. But again, there is a way to recover what you lost. 
There is a way to recover. Everything that was lost in the Bible was recovered. And you can lose a loved one. The lost son. Losing a loved one means. And I know for, for, for some men here, when we talk about relationships, I'll be coming to that. Anytime you lose a loved one, possibly I don't want to deal with, with death. I want to, lo- to, to, to deal with relationship, the loss of relationship. There are men who are never able to move on after possibly they lost a relationship. There are men who are not married to their Apostle Ken because a lady rejected them. Now I'm a kwama hapo. And you feel like that is something that should bring you down. And the devil will continue using that. The devil will delay you. Ile time ugepata watoto ukiwa na nguvu. Wanze kuzaa ukiwa mze. Unazaa mutoto anakasi kutano bila kufugua macho. Because ni begu mze. You know, whereas watoto siku hizo wanazariwa kama wamefugua macho. You know, when you study Genesis 49, when you study Genesis 49, you hear what this man called, uh, called, um, uh, uh, he was called who? Jacob, when he was blessing his sons. When he's talking about Reuben, he's saying that he is, he, he is his power, his dignity, you know, his first strength. Hallelujah. Excellence, you can imagine, excellence in dignity and power. Kuna ile begu unachomoa hata watu wakiangalia wanasema ah hii huwezi jificha. Hii ni wewe, hii ni wewe ujue hiyo hiyo ni first strength. Kwa hivyo hata wale vijana wanaenda wakitupa tupa misa ya luko nje. Unaenda ukitupa tupa zile strong, unabaki na tule tule tumirevi mirevi, tule hatujijui. Hello? So what you are saying is any time you must know when to move on. You don't mourn for too long. Don't mourn for too long. You have lost property. Don't mourn for too long. You are not the first person to, 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 to lose. Men have lost. And they have recovered. Praise Jesus. Men have lost key relations. There are even people who have lost marriages. There are even people who lost their, 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 their wives. Maybe to death or something. And they are still moving on with life. What I want to tell you that what you are going through is not some, it, it should not make you feel like that is the end of your life. You can begin from somewhere. You can, you can begin from somewhere. You can pick up the pieces and begin a new journey. Hallelujah. And I want to assure you, there are three devils. There are three, Muchugaji, there is a seat for you here. There are three levels that every person will be going through. Every person. And you find yourself in any of, the, of those. At the beginning of life, there are things that you happen in your life that you think that everything is okay. Your vision is very clear. Everyone believes in you. Your business is doing well. All right? People keep calling you. That's the first stage. We call it the appearance stage. The appearance phase. You know, they say that life is in phases, but men are in sizes. That is the first phase of life. The first phase of life is called appearance. What, you sh- what, what God showed you in the beginning. Your vision. You wake up and you feel like the world doesn't know who they are dealing with. Mpaka unasimamisho na polisi unajiuliza. Kwani haa hawajiu wanadeal na nani? Unaigia kwa mkutano hautaburiwi. Mpaka unashidwa. Kwani watu hawajuagi? Hawaonagi kwa kiroho. I wish you could discern who you are dealing with. Because in the inside you feel... So full of yourself. You are, you, are, you, are so, you are so energetic from the inside. You feel that somewhere you are going. You are so optimistic about life. And God, God gives you what we call, uh, you know, uh, uh, experiences. You experience. And th- th- there's, th- th- there's something you mentioned the other day. Uh, what do, they, do we call them? The time that God appears to you and speaks to you. Something very clear. You know, this is God who spoke to me. And as you share it, you are very sure you are not telling a lie. It's God who spoke to you. But now that is waiting for another phase. That time business is okay. You have no problem. Many people begin there. Many people begin there. 
The second phase is called the, dia, the disappearance phase. What appeared disappears. The money is gone, the fame is gone, and you look like a confused person. Actually, you might even look like a madman. People cannot understand you because the big things you used to speak, you no longer believe in them. You don't look like what you spoke when people knew you. You don't look like it. Life has changed. But I came to let someone know that never doubt in darkness what God told you in the light. Never doubt. Never doubt in darkness. If you once felt a great man, if you once felt that there's somewhere you are going, if you once felt there's something God is doing in you, don't doubt that even when you're in darkness. Don't doubt. Don't cast away that vision that God gave you. Even if you're in the disappearance phase. Disappearance phase is the wilderness phase. The children of Israel once were in Egypt, but at some point they went into the wilderness. Wilderness was not a promise, but it was part of the promised land package. God never promised the children of Israel to take them to the wilderness. He told them, I'm taking you from Egypt to... He never mentioned wilderness. Because wilderness is a disappearance phase. What was the wilderness? Who could decocanan? And that's why people make noise. When you're in the disappearance phase, you begin complaining. What you don't know is that God is preparing you in that disappearance phase. Four reasons that made God take the children of Israel through the wilderness. Number one, to humble them. There's a level of pride you cannot enter the promised land with. Read Deuteronomy 8. Says that deny not take you through the way of the wilderness. Number one, to humble you. Hakujayona mutu dangerous kama mutu mwenye amepata mali bila kukula shida. Huyo mutu anaweza akakuchapa kofi na akulipe. Unaenda kufanya hivi ukizaka iga 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 anakuza ni gapi? <laughs> Hello? Because kuna kitu kuna kitu hajatengenezwa. God will take you actually wilderness is not a place for punishment. No. Is a capacity building center. Hallelujah. Amen. Wilderness is a capacity. And I know there is a man fighting a witness in their spirit right now. That I am through wilderness. It is God is building your capacity. God is not destroying you. Actually God is not against you. God is for you. And if he is for you then who can be against you? Hello? God cannot create you to frustrate you. God cannot give you a vision and start frustrating you. He gave you a vision and he will follow it to ensure that it becomes, it becomes a reality. He is a promise keeper. Praise Jesus. If you are in that wilderness, one of the dynamics about wilderness and you find it in one of my books, Wisdom for Wealth, one of the dynamics of the wilderness is that wilderness you don't lack is a place of just enough. A place of, you eat but you cannot know how. You dress, but you don't know how. Actually, tule tumagua tuwa kitabo, unavaaga watu wanaona kama ni kampia. Mpaka watu wana kuadimaya, na wewe unajua isha, unajua kuna mahali guo inafikaga, ukivaa sana, haihitaji pasi, in, imezoea. Imezo. Sasa inaona, instead ya ku, kuederea kupitia maboya pasi, inazoea, inakuwa straight. It doesn't want to be subjected to that heat again. <laughs> inajua safari ni mrefu. Iyo shati unaifuanga, zigina zikikuja na kujana, inasimamanga hivi. Inakona, I'm always ready. Yadi ime conform. Ime agree with you. In Hebrew they say, it, it has homorogued. Abia mwezaka homorogued. It has agreed with you. Yani unaka, yani wewe studio unajua. Usipuabia watu shida zaka wakuna mtu anajua. Yani wilderness. Yani God is so gracious when he is taking you through the wilderness. Watu wanakuona kama uko na pesa na wewe tu unajua watu wanakuko watu wanakukopa pesa Let me tell you Can I tell you na anakuambia aki usininyime aki najua uko nazo Usiwabiage watu huna Tell them I'm not in a position in the moment At the moment I'm not Because you are not poor you are only broke There's a difference There's a difference between being broke and being poor you can be broke, but you are not poor. Nekoreko harana godena. Hello? 
You know where there's a spirit. Where there's a? And once you have the spirit of wealth, by the virtue of believing in Jesus Christ, one who was rich, but because of you, he became poor. Therefore, you have been, you have, you, you, you have been grafted into the spirit of wealth through Jesus Christ. You cannot be poor. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot be poor. Yani ata ata watu enu wakikuwa be ata shetani ya kifanya ni wewe huwezi kuwa masikini. Na ukatai hiyo roho. Ukatai hiyo roho. Iyo siyo roho yako. Roho ya umasikini. Praise Jesus. You are wealthy because you have a father. Now, how do you feel if, if, if Kenyatta's grandchildren uh, leave wherever they are and come start collecting garbage here. How is that feeling? How will, how will the, the, the president feel? That is how God feels when he sees you misbehaving. That is how God feels when he sees you living like a poor person. And he knows in Psalms 24, the earth belongs to him. And his fullness thereof. Did you know that your father is the custodian of the mother title deed of the, of the universe? Like Mr. Jomo, I can tell you that. Yeah, Nadil na mashamba. Your father is the, is the custodian. Title iko kwa briefcase yake. The mother title deed. Yeah, the whole world. We na 50 by 100. Mimi niliachana vita na 50 by 100. Mimi niliachana na hiyo vita. Because I know my father is able to give me land. He is able to give me land. And that land is there. I may not have it right now, but that does not mean that it is not there. I may not look like it, but I know it's there. That is why you must believe, you must learn to believe in the sun, even when you don't see it. Even when it's too crowdy. Just know the sun, the sun is somewhere. Krauzi kiisha na ikukue saa sita. Jua itakukua hapi. Itakua tu pale. Mahali inafaa kuwa. Imagine. Saa hii unaweza sema jua na jua iko hapa. You are very sure. But yet you can't see it. Na huweza sema hei jua leo imecherewa. Hei. Kwa nilikuwa hapi. Apana. <laughs> jua inajua mahali pake. And you must believe. You must begin to believe in God. Even when you don't feel him. Because the problem with the men is that they deal with God with the feelings. We are not like women. That's our difference. Women are emotional. Men are logical. We are very rational. Mimi kuna manabi moja na Pastor Boro anajua. Alikuwa anakuja kutabri. He was very accurate. Mimi hile siku aliniita pamoja na muke wagu wakaanza kukutabri. Alisema, na wewe kazi yako ni kupima. Ei wewe, wewe ni kitoa unabi kazi yako unapimaga. And it was very true. Because nilikuwa ni meokoka lakini nilikuwa na shido anawanyesho haji. Mimi, actually nilikuwa na kahivi. Sema, sema yangu. Sema yangu. Nikuwa mimi. You, you know, because men, be, before, ukiona wanaume kama hawa wakikufuata aposto ken, kuna kitu mugu wamekuitia na wanaume. We, we, go, go try. Itana mukutano ya watu. Itana wewe. Itana kwako. Itana. You begin to appreciate mad men that they have fans. Ati mwedo wazimu anatokea kwa barabara anaanza kufanya watu wana musaraud. Wewe jalibu. Hello? It's work. Gathering people is work. Now that makes you, that gives you an opportunity to appreciate a pastors even with three washirikas. You know, sisi wakati waku launch ministry, tuliona like more than 200 people. Isa day gine nilikuwa na shido. Kwani tulikosea? Kwani tulikosea venue? Kwani? Kwani walikosea? Mahali. Hata nauliza mtu. Ulitagaza tulisema tutakuwa hapa. Because siku ya kwanza watu watakuja wegi. Lakini from there, finding someone to believe in you. It's God. Hello? Disappearance. Wilderness. That wilderness you are going through, God is building your capacity. And let me tell you, how long you take in the wilderness is not God determined. It is you determined. You are the determinant, not God. Can I tell you something? It was prophesied that they would be in Egypt for 400 years. That was already predetermined. 
They only delayed themselves because of ignorance and sending away Moses. Hello? You know, they even questioned God. Who may, who, who, when Moses went to, to, to make peace with them, he said, who made you our leader? Who told you? Who made you? And, and that's how Moses disappeared. That's how they delayed. They delayed. When you don't discern people God has brought in your life, you delay your, your destiny. Let me tell you something. When you are dealing with the spirit of wealth, you see your rich uncles and your rich aunties. Wachaga kuwa sengenya. Najua akona maringo, lakini yata ni pesa huna. I'm telling you. Wachaga kuwapiga vita. Sasa utapiga mutu aje vita na alinunua buzibiri mukakura sikuku. Na wea hata chumbi huku toa. Na wea di unapiga makerele. Si unyanyeke. Iyo diyo spirit ya nyemugu anapigana nao kwa baisha yako. Hello? Are you together? Iyo diyo mambo mugu. He said, I'll take you through the way, the way of the wilderness to humble you. Number two, to test you. Unachu unaeza liria mugu, unaeza jifanya vira wewe ni muzuri. Everybody is humble when they are in need. Everyone is generous when they have nothing. Kujia yona mutu generous kama mutu hana kitu. Haki ya mugu kama nigekua na ayo. Atuliku unataka gapi? Elfu moja. Gai gai. Kama nigekua na ayo. Haki ya mugu nigekupea. Wacha upate hiyo pesa. Mutu wakupigia simu. Unazaga kulizo watu wengine ni tamu ya kenu hanuhokea pesa. Sasa hamejuaje. Sasa hamejuaje ni kona pesa. You know. You become bitter. You become bitter, you become apprehensive just because you have it. God had to test them. He took them through the way of it to test them. Number three says to test what is in your heart. God wanted to test what is in their heart. He wanted to know what was in their heart. And number four, he said, I took you through the way of the wilderness to see whether you obey my commands. That is the discipline. That is the sole purpose of why we go through the wilderness. The earlier you realize it, the earlier you are lying, the better. Hakuna, hakuna vinyo waliabiwa watakuwa wilderness for how many years? Wewe vile utajipanga haraka haraka. Divya utatokereze haraka haraka. Udiru na kiburi. Udiru na kuwabe mungu. Hello? Na moyo, moyo wako ulainisha vizuri. Wacha mutu wa makoro. That is called wilderness. It's called the disappearance phase. God is making you through that disappearance. And that is why he, he takes care of you. You cannot explain how you survive, but you survive anyhow. In the wilderness, you survive. What, mungu anapeanga watu burden yako wakati uko wilderness. Wakati umetoka wilderness, hakuna mutu anakuwaga na muzigo. Unajalibiki kufuatiria wale, wale, wale partners. Wale mungu alitumia waka kuwira. Guy, kwa doke tae. You know, kumeharibika. Na kitabu haku hata unaulizwa. Because your season is over. Then you get to the, the third phase. When you qualify, when you graduate from the wilderness, from the disappearance, you go to what we call the reappearance phase. I don't want to prophesy to every man. You are getting there in Jesus' name. Where what you saw from the beginning becomes now very real. See, kitu irikuja. God was not exciting you when he showed you great things. God was not exciting you when you saw yourself in a vision or in a dream having a beautiful family with a good car, with a, in a good homestead, a family that fears the Lord, serving the Lord faithfully. God was not joking. God was not shumekiering you. Hello? God was not shumekiering you. God was serious. He showed you what, what he is able to do. Then he told you if you can align, you will get there. And that is where we are calling upon every man to remain humble. Watch a pesa isi kubadirishe wanze kukosana na bibi. Unajira kila mwana ume bila pesa. Wikeda na kuwaga nyubani. Sayo diyo anachezaga na watoto. Wakati hana kitu. Wakati hana kitu, unampata na kinyasa. Kwa kape, tata hezi kakalia kitu. Ni muhambo, hana kitu. Sayo diyo anabia watoto, abuju, buju, buju. Abuju, buju. Sayo ujua huyo mwana ume hana kitu. Wacha mwanaume abalikiwa apate pesa. He will never be there for his family. He will never be there for his family. That is the danger. Let me tell you. You will never know how mature you are until God gives you money. You will never know how, how much love you have for God. Mpaka mungu wakupatia gali. Wanza kuedaga gali service Sunday. Ukisema unajua wiki yangu niliona itashikana 
nikaona kwanza nipitie garage eh, because sande kwanza kwanza sasa unafanya double scene wewe unakosa kwenda church na mpaka makanika wako unamwambia asiende yani umeanza kuwa sasa you have you are not all, you are now not born again you are born againist <laughs> because you are now fighting the essence you are now fighting god you are, you are fighting god himself wewe sasa unapigana na mungu wewe umetagaza vita na mungu na that is why unaonaga kufirisika ni rahisi sana hello can i tell you something true wealth true wealth doesn't come in the appearance phase if you are in the appearance phase please prepare for the disappearance or mature very fast mature grow very fast praise the lord learn through the process learn through the process true wealth comes in the disappearance in the appearance phase because you have been tested god cannot trust you without testing you ask abraham he gives him a son and abraham is very excited finally you have remembered me then at some point bring him bring the son and go and abraham is like, are, are you sure this one the only one actually he could have said now this one or ishmael are you sure maybe he had taken ishmael mungu akakata unaangalia mahali hasara sio mingi hello but you can imagine the battle that abraham had trying to hide isaac from Sarah, just to take him to the mountain just to, to obey god and when he wanted to lay the knife on the son god spoke and said abraham abraham do not hurt your son for now you must be tested my friend you must be tested god cannot entrust you without testing you Every man needs God. Say I need God. Take a moment tell God, God give me understanding. To know where I stand and the battles I'm fighting. Tell God, thank you Lord. May I stand even in the day of battle. May I be discerning even in my seasons. I refuse to see opportunities and draw back i refuse to have a fearful spirit help me oh god to be faithful to you help me oh lord to heed to your instruction cause me hear your voice and obey it in jesus name glory to god i pray that god will help you to hear him and that you begin to walk in the security of the authority of the word of god yes. you are only secure in the word of god have time be deliberate be intentional about god relate with him as a father not as a stranger our god is not a a village elder our god is not a headmaster ati anagojea ufanye dhabi akugoge teke ya kurusha no he is a father Amen. allow me to add with this story I, I saw it in a Nigerian movie. You know Nigerian movies sometimes can be inspiring. Every man has his own madness. Wewe ukipata stress yako kuna vile unafanyanga. Apostle Ken ni wrestling. Mimi huwa occasionally Nigerians because sometimes my wife loves them. Lakini mimi na mimi natakaga vita, action. Kijeshi, DJ Afro. <laughs> You know, you know there, is a, there is a lady who came to 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 to, to accuse the, the husband to me akaniambia huyu mwanaume hafanyi kitu na muachaga kwa nyumba asubuhi kazi yake tu ni kushida hapo akiwa DJ Afro nikamwambia thank god for DJ Afro because he have saved your, your husband this man could have died jamaa amekosa kazi for a very long time na ni wale watu hawajaifanya kazi wao ni kuajiriwa ametafuta kazi ametafuta kazi haipatikani before abadilishe mawazo anaweza jifanyia kitu ana watch dj yafro eh? yes yes na tunakupeleka mpaka pale vietnam anaenda yani ako kwa ako pa ako pa ako, pare, ako, pare, ako kwa nyumba lakini jamaa ako vietnam eh? 
na ameshikilia GPM GWRC General Purpose Machine Gun with auto revolving coro booster <laughs> makosa let, let me tell you every man has his own madness hello you know you can look very spiritual you can look very spiritual video now this nigerian movie uh, is a woman who got pregnant in the village as a small girl, then she went her way, Akaida Kutafuta Kazi, the man also get lost, got lost. And at some point, this guy se secured a job. You know, in, in, in Nigeria, there are kingdoms. So he secured a job in a kingdom, and the king there, uh, you know, uh, uh, actually he was employed to serve the king as a sweeper in the palace. In the palace. Then it happens that one day, Jama kept on sweeping the ground and all that, taking care of that, until one day the mother came to visit him. And he was showing the mother around. And I don't know what happened, but the king also was taking his tours in the compound. At the compound. And when the mother, the mother is an elderly woman, an elderly woman, but when the mother saw the king, and the son is like, I'm very sorry, I'm very sorry. You know, he is a king. Akasema, no, this man is your father. This man, this man is your father. You know, something you'll never forget, and that's why you must be very careful. You'll never forget somebody you ever slept with. Ata ukiwa guka, wa 99 years. Mukikutana wa shosho na wa guka, muta, mwoto, no. Because you remember. Mwoto ni nani, you will remember. You will never forget. As much as you want to pretend, you'll never forget. So the, the woman remembered, the, the, husband, the, the, the king remembered. Do you want to tell me that young man continued sweeping the palace? What happened? What happened? His story changed. Why did the story change? Did he, did he continue sweeping? What changed? The identity changed. He realized who his father was. When you begin to know who your father is, your life will change.